Welcome to another episode of Curly's Ag, and today you can prepare to be amazed. Yeah, so we've been a bit slow on the uploading video front lately. We've been pumping in the workshop, so much going on there. Um, for any of you guys who might have seen the release of the 2023 Clydesdale, got a fair bit going on with the Handy, which we haven't released yet. Um, heaps of stuff going on there. So we've been a bit slow on the content as far as this goes. Um, but we're back in the farm and I really, really wanted to show you this today. First thing I want to show you the garden, uh, so you get a bit of an update on that. So over in these two fields, we had it tarped and we've taken, well, two blocks, I suppose, we had it tarped and we just removed them, probably a little bit prematurely, but we had to because we ran out of dirt. Um, and then we've moved our tarps over to here and here. Um, and we'll probably only have them on there for a very short time, maybe till March or so. Um, well, March is, we're in March, sorry. Like end of March, early April, till we need the dirt, basically. Uh, we've done some cover cropping over here. This is the sun hemp. And this is what we're going to talk a fair bit about today. Um, and whatever we haven't done that with has basically turned into a jungle like you can see here. Bit of salad mix growing through there, not much. Um, and our strawberries and blueberries, heaps of plastic. Anywhere that's functional, we've got plastic, so I'll show you that up there. Now this is sun hemp. This is our cover crop. So you can see for size, it's like, yeah, two and a half meters near on tall. Um, Super good, I've been reading about it a fair bit. Uh, well, not actually reading, listening about it. Um, one of my favorite audio presenters, Bob Gregory. Um, he does a fair bit of work and he really recommends um, sun hemp. It's a legume, it's not a hemp. It's not got anything to do with marijuana or anything. Um, it's a legume, it's just called hemp because it grows so quickly. So that's it there. Um, it fixes nitrogen in your soil. It takes the weeds out by choking them out because it grows so vigorously and it puts heaps and heaps of biomass available then to harvest. Now we want to work on our biomass um, and our nitrogen, that's the main things we really want to get going on here. Uh, so that's been a perfect crop, not just for that, but also for our field here. We planted about two acres of sun hemp. Um, where that wheat was, if you've seen the wheat video, it's the exact same space, but it's all full of sun hemp. And just here you can see we've got a bit of okra back down here, um, Egyptian spinach, we've got a bit of um, cucumbers and beans and different things, uh, basil down here, onions, leeks, eggplants, there's some capsicums over there and sunflowers. Like we're way down on our what our winter is but we sort of just try and keep a little bit going to sort of keep our clients coming along because you know once you lose a client it's hard to regain them so it's important. Um, so okay, you see in the garden, let's focus now. It is maize time. So over here, we've got our, our sun hemp. It has grown really, really, really well. I'm really happy with it. And for comparison, I'll just show you. There's sunflowers there between that grass. They were planted the same day that sun hemp was planted. And as you may well know, sun, um, sunflowers grow fairly tall. So these are sunflowers that were planted previously. And they have, we've been putting chicken manure on there to better that soil. Whereas this is what it would have been like if we hadn't done anything to it. And that's the sun hemp, which is virgin soil. We've done no irrigation at all. We've 100% dry crop depending on the rain. And so, uh, we've spoken a fair bit about it before, but a big thing that we're into is agro-tourism because we want to attract people out of the cities, into the country to, you know, to get to be more in touch with the land um, and then effectively in, in touch with the land's creator, which is God. And so we often try and devise different things to try and attract our people out. And so I've been working on this for over a year now. We're going to make a maze in this field. Oh. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do, I've got this, um, I've got my drone here with me today. I'm going to fly it up. I'm going to use my Clydesdale, my Cyber Clydesdale here. Um, I've got it prepared. I'll show you the Cyber Clydesdale. This is our old faithful. I've been doing minor upgrades. This is like the first one that was ever made. 
But I've just put the new 2023 chassis on it and it's got um, a newer top there than the very first one. But you know, all the running gear and stuff is all the very first one that was ever made. We've got the sickle bar, the BCS sickle bar. We are working on our own, but we haven't finished it yet. And we've got the BCS attachment here. So if you guys haven't seen the BCS attachment, you can check out our 2023 video. Um, we show it on there uh, with our new hitch and stuff. So it's a um, 1200 cut. And we're going to use that. Sickle miles are way better for this long stringy stuff. Uh, if you try and do this with a with a um, with a flower mower, like it'll take you half a lifetime and like 25 batteries. Whereas I believe I can do this whole field of maize. So we're just going to cut a maize through the field um, with that one battery and probably have left over. I don't have a voltage or a percentage gauge on that battery. This is our, like a very very first battery, like a three or so year old now. Uh, still going fine, it just doesn't have a, um, a battery gauge on it, so it's hard to tell how much we have left. But like I said, I, I'm confident that we can cut our maze through this whole two acres on that one battery. So um, I'm going to put you guys down, I'm going to put the drone up in the sky, and you guys can see it from the air how it all works. Okay, so we've done our first cut. I just want to go and cut a couple more dead ends. Um, sun's going down. It's only probably been like 20 minutes to do our first cut. I had to take a little uh, break after the video. Anyway, we'll go and do our second cut and um, couple, get, get a couple of dead ends there to lose some kids in and uh, see how we go. Look at the Clydesdale. Here we are amongst it all. Look how much tall this stuff is. It's absolutely massive. We're lost up the top here somewhere. What a good idea this has been. I'm loving it. We've come out the far end. I have a good little decoy. I'll show you here on the screen. We're right up here now. I think I'm going to come back here and join it back on here. And I think that'll be enough maize to lose a couple of kids. All right then guys, that is the maze. Hope you're amazed. Thanks again for watching this video. Um, hope you guys maybe even have some ideas for your farm. Um, if you're free this Sunday, let me just focus. If you're free this Sunday, you can come out and visit us. If you're not free this Sunday or not in the vicinity, in the vicinity and that's Elia's garden, um, you can, yeah, enjoy or whatever. Um, here I'll show you the other battler. Look at him. Looks like being been through a world war. Um, yeah, it's got proper thick in there. I'm super, super happy with with this crop. Um, super keen to see how our next crop of uh, wheat goes, whether we get better 
um, strike rate or not um, because of the nitrogen put back in the soil. But um, yeah, so what I was saying, thanks for watching. Hope you like this. Like and subscribe, do all that good stuff. Um, and I'll see you guys next time.